Hi everyone, thanks for taking the time to watch the video that accompanies this month's Geospatial Tip of the Month. In this short video, I'll show you the steps of finding the collection date and time of popular image satellites, including the Digital Globe sensors, and Konos, and RapidEye. So without further delay, let's jump into this analysis. Here is an actual metadata file from a Digital Globe order. The metadata file I'll show you shortly here includes all satellites Digital Globe works with, including QuickBird, GOI-1, Worldview 1, 2, and 3. It does not include a Konos, which I'll show you in a separate step. So I've opened this file already with a program called WordPad. And when you get to it, you'll see a, a pretty long list of different parameters that you can take a look at in your metadata file. Specifically today, we're looking about halfway down. Right, keep going, scrolling down. And we're going to be looking for this information right here. Earliest ACK time, latest acquisition time. This tells you, down to the millisecond, what time the satellite turned on to image and also turned off to image. Here's the collection date, 2014, September 24th, so it's in uh, European order, so to speak, with year, month, and date, as opposed to date, month, year, as here in the uh, US. Um, and then over here, we have the collection time, and you'll notice that it's collected in UTC, and you'll need to convert that to your local time zone in order to find out what time it collected locally for you. Now, let me take a look at what an Econos metadata file looks like. The naming convention is a little bit more simple. This just includes the order number originally placed for that data. And if you look at the metadata file itself, you're gonna see it's much more simple. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down again about halfway through, and you're gonna see the acquisition date and time here. Again, um, in the European style with year, month, and date. So this was collected on June 9th, 20, uh, 2002, and it was collected at approximately 1327 UTC or Greenwich Mean Time. So again, you have to convert this into your local time zone to find out what the collection time was locally. And finally, we're gonna take a look at metadata for RapidEye. And RapidEye again has a much, more, a much longer naming convention, including information on the collection date and the tile and the cat ID. And this is an XML file, so instead of opening it with WordPad, I'd actually typically open it with Internet Explorer. And when you get to this file, it's actually going to be in your first screen you're going to be looking for. You're going to be looking for the GML valid time location. Begin and end position, similar to Digital Globe, tells you when the satellite turned on, when it turned off. So again, it's going to be in the order of year, month, and date, or day. So this would be collected on June 28th, 2011. And again, time is reported in UTC or Greenwich Mean Time. So we're looking at a collection time of 1,800 hours, 57 minutes, and 36 seconds. And this is 24-hour time. So again, you'll need to convert that to your local time zone. Let me know if you have any questions about this. And thank you for watching our video today.